Hi folks, I swear my shoulders are not this big. Thanks. Um, I actually wish they were. This will be a new reborn New York City version. Everything that I've fallen in love with, everything that has become a part of my daily routine, that has changed my life, I will share it with you guys here. So uh, I wanna talk about skincare tools. Over the past two months, I have become obsessed with skincare, like to the point where I live for that moment, I can come home, wash my face, and do my ritual. I love laser facials. I'm actually getting Fraxel laser next week. I do have an at-home laser by Luminage. It's a smoothing laser. But the number one tool that I recommend is called the New Face. I say this name like 500 times a day because I talk about this thing to everybody. Like everybody I meet on the street, I'm like, you should buy this. Like I'm not even paying, I bought this. I bought this at Space and K. I walked into Bloomingdale's one day. This is like how I achieve cheekbones. It is how I achieve structure. It is how I tighten my face. First, you apply this gel primer all over your face and then you take this and you kind of massage your face upwards. There's like tutorials online. I'm not going to get into it. If you want tighter, firmer skin, this is truly something that I recommend from the bottom of my heart. This thing has been in the making for so long and I can't believe it's finally out. I look in the camera. Sonia, I want to become a YouTube blogger, but I don't know where to start. To me, it's like if you want something, you should want it so bad. By the time your mind has already comprehended that you want it, you've already begun. You want to be a YouTube blogger. Okay, so you had that thought, hmm, I want to make a YouTube blog. The next action should be you going on YouTube and signing up. My main objective in life is to make people love their strength and then you will actually become that thing, you will become confident, you will fit that role for the job, you will become successful. Hopefully this course helps somebody out there. Zanita, who is an incredible photographer, a woman that I looked up to for so many years, we worked on this course for like six months or so. We shot for like a whole day in LA. We shot in Paris. We did like phone interviews for like three or four hours. I created it along with the Azel team. I am talking about my tips and my advice on how to become a YouTuber or a social entrepreneur, an internet entrepreneur, how to utilize social media. So it has like 13 chapters and every single one has like a video. It has a bunch of quotes. I have book recommendations, everything that has helped me on my journey is essentially condensed into this course, into the course on Azelle. And they do, for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know why they do this, they have a 30 day free trial, um, so you can essentially get my course for free, or you can get like a year subscription because I'm not the only person, not the only YouTuber or blogger or human being that is teaching things on this site. You can learn photography, you can learn so many different things. I've heard about the Claire Sonic for like, I don't know, three to four years. I used to watch beauty gurus, like, but I never actually thought that I needed it. I doubted that it was gonna make that big of a difference, that it was gonna do something that drastic. And I was wrong, and I'm not getting paid to say this. Claire Sonic doesn't even know that I exist. Um, by the way, nothing in this video is sponsored, just putting that out there. The reason I got into this is because I had the best facial probably of my life at the Roxbury Institute in LA, and the woman did a Hydra facial on me, and she used this, and she's like, do you use a Clarisonic? And I'm like, no, and she's like, I promise you, use a Clarisonic for two weeks, all of your problems will go away. She was right. Using a Clarisonic twice a day has completely resurfaced my skin, has helped reduce the size of my pores, and I can just feel that my skin is so much smoother than when I used to use my hands. Genuinely, this really, really changed my skin. So, Ola Henriksen is a skincare brand that I have used for like two years now, and I became their ambassador just recently. Um, there's gonna be, just, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Um, I wanted to talk about these two things. Again, they're not paying me to say this, but this is a facial spray. It's called the Fountain of Truth Facial Spray. It smells like oranges, and when I'm just at home in the morning or at night after I've taken off all my makeup, I just spray this thing on my face like every 30 minutes. Like every time it comes into my vision, into my sight, I spray this on my face. It's super hydrating. It smells incredible. This is my favorite facial water. I used to use like a rose water spray, and I, I finished these guys like super quickly, but this is the one I'm using right now. And this is my favorite other product by them, Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. Again, I use this at night after I've cleansed my face. It helps to tighten my pores and re-texturize kind of my skin because again, I have like texture issues. 
My skin is not even. I have rosacea sometimes in the winter. I ran into some random article from Kendall Jenner's makeup artist and she was saying that she uses this highlighter on Kendall Jenner. And obviously my brain was like, duh, must buy, come to me. I think it's it's kind of blowing up now, this highlighter. Like I feel like a lot of people know it. They sell it at like anthropology and stuff. It's not shimmery, it has no glitter in it. It's just the perfect sheet. And I've used this for two months. It looks completely new. Um, it's made from a base of coconut oil. If you're obsessed with highlighters, and if you've not tried this, you must. I, you must. So fashion-wise, I have two favorites. One of them is a site called Style Nanda. I'm obsessed with South Korean women. I don't even, like how are they so beautiful? I don't know. I don't know what they do, but whatever they do, I want to do it too. A, it's affordable. B, it's like the most beautiful mix of vintage and modern street style. Like they just nail it. And my second favorite that I kind of want to talk about is a site called The Real Real. It's basically where you can buy consignment designer pieces. And I found this on The Real Real. Obviously I got it for like a ridiculous discount because it is vintage. It is worn and used, but I love used stuff. I like stuff that looks like it has a history. I'm gonna talk about <sighs> like my favorite thing in the world. This is a essential oil diffuser. And I went into my friend's house and she had something similar to this and I was like, oh my God, what is that? And then I went on Amazon and I bought one. And then I went to like Bed Bath & Beyond and I bought another one. And then I was so in love with it that I went back and bought another one and sent it to my mom. That I went back and bought another one and that I went back and bought another one and that I went back and bought another one because it's changed my life. Well, it's aromatherapy in a sense. Like lavender oil, I actually travel with it and whenever I feel anxious or stressed, I put it on my wrist and I just smell my wrist and it helps me to like, it puts me in a meditative state. You put water in it and then you put a few drops of your favorite oil. This one specifically is the shit and I bought it for my mom as well because it plays spa music. Like watch. Waves. Spa. Spa 2.0. Probably could not live without that thing. When I'm traveling, I miss it. I miss my essential oil diffuser. I am a freaking nerd. So if you know any sort of speaker or sound system that always plays music in your house, I want like a classical music speaker in my house just so that every time I walk into my house, I have like classic music playing. Um, I don't know how to do that. If you guys know if there's like an actual device that does that or if I should just like buy a speaker and connect like my iPad to it and just constantly be burning electricity, um, let me know, I don't know. Two books that have changed my life that I have read in the past few months. The first one is 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene, I think it is. If you have an entrepreneurial mind, and if you like to be a leader, if you want to be a leader, you need to read this book, you need to listen to this book. If you feel like you're kind of, I have some friends that I just know would not be able to understand the book because it's kind of aggressive. It kind of makes you feel evil sometimes. But generally, once you've read it, I have like quotes and like the points from the book all over my house just to remind myself. But overall, like amazing book. And the other one that I'm not quite done reading yet is called The Vortex, Law of Attraction. Very life-changing, thought-provoking. And again, if you're interested in the Law of Attraction, read that book. If you are looking for a relationship, if you don't understand why your relationships keep failing, if you don't love yourself, feel like you love yourself, read this book or listen to this book on Audible, whatever. Like, that's what makes life so interesting, I think, is that there's so much information out in the world, so many different things that you can throw yourself into um, and get immersed in. And you don't even necessarily have to believe them or follow them or like obey them. But just to know things and understand things from different cultures, from different religions, like I think that's so beautiful. Especially if you go into it with an open mind um, and you don't take anything as like true or not. If you're interested in any of the songs that I've been listening to, I update my SoundCloud like every single day so it's completely useless for me to sit here and tell you my favorite songs. Go to my SoundCloud, I'll link it below and I'll link everything that I talked about below. This is kind of off track, but if you live in LA, Go to Air One and buy the buffalo cauliflower. I miss it so much. You have no idea. Buffalo cauliflower is like the best thing on earth. I would honestly move back to LA just to eat. Like people are like, why'd you go to LA? I'm like, to eat. I miss the food. There's like nothing. There's no good food in New York. Like healthy food, like 
alchemic food, like kale infused with spirulina and chlorella, oxygenated pH level balanced food, you know, it's a rough life. The last thing I wanted to talk about, and this is really unsafe because I've been burning this candle for like five hours and it's really, really freaking hot. I don't even know how I can show you. Okay, I can't. So that candle is called Boy Smells and it's in the scent of Kush. My favorite candle smells like Kush. In one of my last videos actually, somebody accused me of being a stoner, um, which I like, if I smoked weed, I would be upfront and tell you guys. Weed is not just like getting high and being oblivious to the world. I know that it has the potential to be medicine. Um, but I genuinely, I don't smoke weed. I've not smoked weed in like years. Like, and I have no intention of smoking weed. But I love the smell of weed. You know when you walk down the street and someone's like smoking a joint? Like I love that smell because it reminds me of being a kid. It reminds me of like middle school days when everyone used to smoke weed. But yeah, basically I like this Kush candle. It doesn't smell like weed. It just smells musky. But I googled it and they sell it at Urban Outfitters. If you want the smell of Kush in your house, go to Urban Outfitters. Look at me recommending kids to buy Kush online. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any specific questions, like just generally about anything that I talked about, anything that like came through your mind as you were watching this video, leave it in the comments and peace, love, and Kush candles. Namaste.